Good evening and welcome to a regular meeting of the Oak Harbor City Council. It is the evening of September 17th, 2019, uh, 6 p.m. I'd like to call the meeting to order, uh, invite you to stand and join us uh, first in an invocation tonight led by Pastor Ron Lawler, Family Bible Church, and I will follow that uh, by the Pledge of Allegiance. Pastor? Oh, would you like to pray with me? Dear wise and loving Father, first let me say thank you on behalf of all who are gathered here today. Thank you for your many and abundant blessings. Thank you for life itself, for the measure of health we need to fulfill our callings, for sustenance and for friendship. Thank you for the ability to be involved in useful work, for the honor of bearing appropriate responsibilities. Thank you as well for the freedom to embrace you or the freedom to reject you. Thank you for loving us even so from your boundless and gracious nature. In the scriptures, you have said that citizens ought to obey the governing authorities since you have established those very authorities to promote peace and order and justice. Therefore, I pray for our mayor, for the members of the city council. I'm asking that you would graciously grant them wisdom to govern amid the conflicting interests and issues of our times, a sense of the welfare and true needs of our people, a keen thirst for justice and rightness, confidence in what is good and fitting, the ability to work in harmony even when there's honest disagreement, personal peace in their lives and joy in their task. I pray for the agenda before them tonight. Give them an assurance of what would please you and what would benefit those who live and work in and around our beloved city of Oak Harbor. In your most blessed name I pray, amen. Thank you, Pastor. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we are missing uh, um, some of our fellow council members this evening. Mayor Pro Tem Beth Munns, um, Tara Heisen, and Bill Larson. I would accept a motion to Salute. excuse them. We have a motion a second. and a second to excuse them. Motion by Councilor Allenberg, second by Councilor Wiesner. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. So we will move along to the agenda. Approval of the agenda. And if there's no uh, desire to change that, we will accept it as presented. Uh, move then down to the uh, citizen comment period. Uh, now is the time for citizens to comment on subjects of interest not listed on the agenda or items listed on the consent agenda. Uh, please, uh, to ensure uh, comments are properly recorded, state your name clearly into the microphone and limit your comments to three minutes, and I'm guessing we're not going to have any comments tonight. Okay. Uh, we will go to the consent agenda. We have items A through E. Um, any change? Seeing no... Uh, questions there. The consent uh, items will be approved as presented. And now to the mayor, council, and staff comments. I actually have a couple of things. I'd like to uh, um, congratulate the uh, Main Street group for a successful Oktoberfest. I know there were a few people uh, from the city that were able to go in and enjoy that uh, fest. Uh, I was there for a good share of it myself. Um, so uh, congratulations to them. Um, and I do have under observations that uh, the week of September 17th uh, to the 23rd is uh, Constitution Week. Constitution Week is a commemoration of America's most important document, uh, celebrated annually during the week during the week of the 17th through the 23rd. The Constitution stands as a testament to the tenacity of Americans throughout history to maintain their liberties, freedoms and inalien inalienable rights. This celebration of the Constitution was started by the Daughters of the American Rev Revolution. Uh, in 1955, uh, DAR petitioned Congress to set aside that week annually to be, or this week annually, to be dedicated for the observance of Constitution Week. The resolution was later adopted by U.S. Congress, signed into public law on August 2nd, 1956, by President Dwight Eisenhower. I'm sure you all remember him. Um, Constitution Week is a great time to learn more about this important document and celebrate the freedoms it gave us. 
So with that, I will turn it over to uh, Council for comments. Seeing none, we will, City Administrator, turn to you. Right, I'll start off with uh, calling your attention to the upcoming important meeting uh, City Council dates. Uh, the one I want to focus on is just the kind of talked about yesterday at the special meeting, the October 2nd Island County Board of Commissioners meeting. Uh, we were invited to present uh, some information of why we want the JPA, the Joint Planning uh, Area, amended on their docket for 2020. So uh, Steve, or the Development Service Director, me and the Mayor will be the spokesperson, but we are uh, inviting and we will notice that there's a possible quorum there of the council and certainly uh, you're welcome to come and help us in that uh, presentation and provide input and, and uh, to correlate this important uh, goal of ours to, to uh, amend the JPA uh, to help us advocate for that on the county board level. So uh, with that, I do have an item on uh, below my regular comments there. Uh, a month ago, I believe, the council did make a, uh, on the dais a mandate that, uh, that we consider the Wi-Fi in the Central Business District and in Windjammer Park. Uh, immediately following that, there was some effort to coordinate with the Main Street. They've done a lot on this. They've been working on this probably for three years um, in the Central Business District. And so before I do that information, I and reinvent the wheel. I'd like to coordinate with them. So at a minimum, I'm looking for two more months to uh, pr comply with that requirement. Councilor Servadius. Thank you, since I made the motion. Um, I think that's fair. I would make the recommendation besides just Main Street. I know they started an initiative. Um, may we reach out to Burlington, their public works department, since they've installed public Wi-Fi all up and down Riverside Drive. I don't know if Anna Cordes has done that. I know they were just here last week and we talked about fiber and some options. So I don't know if they've looked from a municipal standpoint as far as Wi-Fi. I know they're looking at municipal fiber lines, um, but maybe we reach out to a couple of those uh, entities as well, just to get you know a better handle on what equipment they're using, what the process is, pros and cons. Um, I just really want to continue to firm this conversation up um, sooner rather than later. So. Yeah, and you did mention, I mean, a lot of our time, and I'll talk about it in my city administrator's report, is focusing on the wet fiber with Anacortes and with the uh, backbone model uh, with the Port Authority. So um, in my list, those are more priority, but certainly the council sense the priority. So do we need any kind of a motion or uh, if we just extend it two months? I guess we do that by. Yeah. Okay. But it doesn't need to be a motion. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, any? Okay. Or are you any other nope. comments? No, no other comments. Okay. We don't have any public hearings or meetings, no ordinances or resolutions, but we do have an item 8A final settlement agreement with Beachview Plaza and our city attorney, Nikki Esparza. Thank you, Mayor. Welcome, Nikki. So this particular item is closing in on five years in the making. So this is very exciting uh, for legal to be able to wrap this one up. Um, what I have this evening for you is both the final settlement agreement with Beachview Plaza and also the final parking easement. Um, we started working towards this in 2014 when we purchased the Whidbey Island Bank building. When we bought that building, there was a sh shared parking easement behind it um, for 90 spaces that we shared with Beachview Plaza. Unfortunately, we needed those 90 spaces um, in order to place our treatment plant there. So after extensive negotiation, um, Beachview Plaza relinquished its easement and we entered into a substitute agreement that laid out what the final agreement would look like and um, where they would park or, or how we would meet their parking needs in the interim. So um, we went through a great deal of negotiations over the years and we had multiple solutions along the way, some of which included um, an idea to do a road diet. Um, but in the end, it turned out that we actually had seven more parking spaces underneath the Woodby Island Bank building than we thought we were going to have. 
So we didn't end up needing to go the route of doing a road diet. Um, most of you all are familiar, very familiar with this particular issue, and so I don't think I need to go into a great deal of detail. But um, the final settlement agreement calls for a total of 49 exclusive spaces. Um, they are allowed to use the spaces Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m., both in that 40 lot um, parking lot and also nine of the spaces to the south of the Wells Fargo building. Um, those parking spaces will be open and available to the public after hours and on weekends, which is great because, of course, those will get a lot of use during festivals and, and community events. Um, the 45 or 49 spaces can be broken down as, as the 45 spaces from the original 90. They also lost two spaces that were exclusively theirs in front of their building on their property that they accessed through an easement that is now gone. They also lost two additional spots um, because there was a total of four shared in front of the former Woodby Island Bank building. So that totals 49 spaces. That is what the final agreement calls for. And I am certainly happy to take any questions, but staff's recommendation is to authorize the mayor to sign the final settlement agreement and also the parking easement in two separate motions. Nobody from the public here to question, so council? Yes, Councilor Omberg. Thank you, Mayor. First of all, I'm going to support this for a variety of reasons, because day one, when we started this process, I was involved in a lot of it. Nikki, you deserve a great deal of credit for working this into a, an agreement that is beneficial to both the city and to the bank, um, Wells Fargo. Thanks. So uh, a lot of that background work goes on unnoticed, <laughs> but those of us who have worked with you over these years on that certainly recognize it and appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate that. And we Grafstra did a lot of work on this too. Candy um, Grants Real Estate Paralegal did a lot of work on the agreements themselves and the like, so. Councilor Cervadius. Any other comments? I authorize, I move to authorize the mayor to sign the final settlement agreement with Beachview Plaza LLC. Second. Motion in a second that reads just like the packet suggested motion. Motion by uh, Councilor Cervadius, second by Councilor Wassinger. Seeing no other questions or input, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That passes unanimously. So I think the next item on our, yes, oh, I'm sorry, Councilor Cervadius. No problem, two parts. I move to authorize the mayor to sign the parking easement benefiting Beachview Plaza LLC. Second. So we've got a motion and a second that reads just like uh, the recommended action number two. Um, motion by Councilor Cervadius, second by Councilor Wassinger. Seeing no other questions or input, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? That passes unanimously. Now I guess we're done. So we will now go into executive session. And I don't know what the, uh, this is under RCW 4230.110, section one, uh, pending litigation, any idea? It's 20 minutes, okay then we will adjourn to executive session for 20 minutes.
So I will reconvene the meeting of September 17th. Um, regular city council meeting. We are just coming out of executive session where no decisions were made. And I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So, second. Motion second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 That passes unanimously. <laughs>